this is an opportunity for the athletes just to see what they've accomplished off of fall training. So um, it's just a time for them kind of to have fun and, and just see where they're at from the fall training. It is. It's always fun to go against Montana. Um, they may not think, they may not see us as their rivals, but we kind of see them as our rivals. So um, it, it's good to go against them. Um, they tend to be competitive in um, events we're uh, competitive in. Mm -hmm. um, so they usually have some good pole vaulters and that's really where we're strong um, in the women's vault. Um, they have, they've they had some good throwers in the past and, and that's the weight throw right now in shot. We're, we're looking pretty good so um, it'll be good going against them in those events. The multi-events, they've always been really good multi-event athletes and it'll be a good opportunity for our multi-event uh, athletes to compete against theirs too. So, um, they're, um, I can't tell you how many conference championships we've been in where they, it's been one point and, uh, between us and them on where we are uh, in placing it. And that's how it was last year at Outdoors. They beat us by one point. So. Um, we're always in the mix with Montana. That is right. Um, in the past, we've kind of looked at this meet as an opportunity for our distance kids to take a break from cross country and not compete. But um, some of them have really wanted to um, compete in the, in the, the candy cane. Um, I think they kind of have felt a little left out. So uh, we are giving them an opportunity here to, to, to do something. Okay, this is our, our sixth go around with it. So each year we feel like the, the meet's evolving. Uh, and that is, remains true this year. Uh, we're offering uh, event winners will get their own Christmas ornament. We thought that would be a nice touch for a, uh, if you're an event winner, you go and the, your uh, ornament will be hanging on a small tree at the table. Um, you can go pick it up if you win the 55 dash or the uh, pole vault, whatever. You're, uh, you walk away with a, a beautiful ornament. Um, it, it is a, it's a great meet um, on a lot of different levels. The, uh, the upper class would know they can qualify for conference go into the break with a qualifying mark um, that they can continue to train hard and come back for our, our first meet over in Seattle in mid-January. Uh, for the coaches and the freshmen, uh, it's a good chance for freshmen to get their, their um, orientation to collegiate track and field, Division One level of track and field. They, there'd be a lot of nerves out there. Um, mm -hmm. Not really sure, they're not always sure what to expect in their first meet. So this is not necessarily a low key meet, but it's not a, a, a high volume meet where you have 15, 20 teams like you do in Seattle. Uh, it'll just be a duel with Montana and ourselves. Uh, not an overwhelming size, but the caliber of athlete from our program and uh, the Montana program um, just translates to a, a great, great competition. We'll, we'll see numerous qualifiers in a lot of events, I'm certain.